right, in this problem, we're gonna take a look at the work required to pull a block up a hill. And more specifically, we're gonna look at the total work done on this block in pulling it up a hill. So we've got a 10 kilogram block, which we're going to pull or drag five meters up a hillside. This hill is tilted at 30 degrees above the horizontal. We're gonna solve for the total work done by all the forces acting on this block. So of course we need to figure out exactly what forces are acting on this block and just how large they are. Now, the force we need to be given in this problem is a pull force. Just how hard are we gonna pull on this? So let's pull up the hill on this block with a force of 60 newtons. Of course, we're gonna have gravity and lastly, we have the normal force. Now in this problem, I wanna keep this frictionless. We, we could throw friction into this. It just is one more term to, to clutter up what's happening. I wanna keep this kind of simple here at the beginning. Uh, so we're just gonna deal with these three forces. And we're gonna solve for the sum of all works done on the block. And that means we're gonna to have to figure out the work done by each force individually. So we've got the pull force, plus the work by the normal force, plus the work by gravity. And of course, we're gonna be using our work equation. Work is F D cosine theta. So let's first look at the work done by the pull force. Using our formula here, we've got 60 times our displacement of five times the cosine of the angle between these two displacements. And it's real tempting to throw 30 degrees in here, but I want you to realize the pull force is straight up the hill and the displacement is straight up the hill. So even though both of these are tilted at an angle, the two forces are parallel to each other. That is to say the angle between them is zero. So the work by the pull force is 300 joules. Next we have the work by the normal force. 85 newtons times a displacement of five meters. And again, it's tempting to pull these 30 degrees in, but realize the normal force is perpendicular to the hill and the displacement is parallel to the hill. So the angle between the force and the displacement is 90 degrees. That means no work is done by the normal force. Last, we have the work by gravity. Now the work by gravity we know is 98 newtons. The displacement is five degrees. And now we need to worry about the angle between them. That is the angle between up the hill and straight down, or this angle right here. Well, this is 120 degrees. So in putting all these together, we find the work by gravity negative 245 joules. So here we have the work by each force individually. Now we're gonna find the total work or the sum of all works or even the network, <laughs> get it, network, done on the block. It's 300 plus zero minus 245. So the total work done on the block is 55 joules.